a really fun play on a shrimp scampi, but instead of using pasta or bread, you can use zucchini zoodles and you get a little extra serving of veggies. So you want a flat end and a flat other end. And you put it right in. Try to get it as much in the middle as possible. And then you grab on the other end right here and really press it in. And this is gonna hold the zucchini down for you. So you wanna give it some pressure and you can see the noodles coming right out. And you can see the core starting to come out. That's about a good time to take these guys off. I wanna show you how long they can get. Look at this. That's a little long. So we're just gonna slice that right in half. And you just keep going until you've reached the end. It's shrimp scampi time. So what we're doing first is we're gonna season up the shrimp with a little bit of olive oil, some chili pepper flakes, three cloves of garlic. We're gonna grate that right in so it really kind of melts into the shrimp. This shrimp is gonna lay over not pasta and not bread. It's gonna lay over the zucchini noodles. So we have a little bit of garlic on there. We need some salt. We wanna heat the pan up and get some butter in there. Three tablespoons of unsalted butter. Okay, now we need some lemon zest in here. So I'm gonna take the zester that we already used the garlic on. If more garlic gets in, that's all the better. Probably use the whole lemon for the zest. We're also gonna use the juice a little later on when we develop the sauce. Shrimp scampi is super easy, super quick meal. The butter's melting nicely. So let's mix this up. All that flavor is now into the shrimp. And then we're gonna saute this up. So we're gonna watch them turn pink. And we're gonna take the shrimp out right before they're cooked because you don't wanna overcook shrimp. But when they're nice and tender and just freshly cooked, they're so delicious. I like to put the shrimp in a single layer so they cook evenly. And then you can just turn them over and then they're all done. It shouldn't take more than four or five minutes. So while we wait for the shrimp to saute, we are going to slice up our shallot. So we just wanna take off the thin outer skin. 25 years of books. We used to have a list. That has been fun learning different authors that I probably wouldn't have heard of had I not met with these ladies once a month. I'm gonna turn these guys, because they're getting pink. I wanna show you the color. Sometimes we've met within two or three weeks if we have a shorter book. Depending on how big the book is, some of my favorite books have been really long ones, but we need a little extra time to read those. You know, we do also have other things that we do in our life. If you can see, these guys are almost getting there, and what you want is that to become opaque. You don't want to be able to see through it, but they're really getting close. So I'm gonna take the shrimp off so they don't cook anymore, and they'll get heated back up when we cook the zoodles. This way they'll stay nice and tender. Okay. Let's put these to rest. And let's start building our sauce. So we get a little bit more butter and a little bit more olive oil in here. Remember, this is gonna be our sauce that's gonna cook the zoodles in. So I'm gonna get a wooden spoon out. This is gonna help me get all the crispy bits off the bottom where all the flavor is. That's gonna help develop the sauce too. Let's get the shallots in there, get them softening up. They can help me pull the brown bits up, so we'll get these guys softened up. I'm also gonna soften up the red pepper flakes, get some in there, gonna add a nice bite. I'm gonna get some white wine in there, and while the white wine heats up, I'm gonna slice up the garlic. And by the time I slice up the garlic, it should be warm enough, but not too hot. So we're just gonna develop this, let this cook down just a tiny bit. I'm gonna add some lemon juice. Give this a little slice of Rooney. Oh, it smells so good, I mean, garlic and butter and olive oil and shallots and lemon juice. Do one more lemon. I want it real lemony. So just like pasta, zucchini doesn't have a ton of flavor. It's a very different flavor, but it also accepts a lot of flavor. So we're just building a really beautiful sauce with a lot of flavor that the zucchini will saute in. Let's put the zucchini in. This should take anywhere between five, seven, 10 minutes, depending on how much zucchini you have in. You don't want to wilt it too much. You really want it to hold a little bit of its crunchiness, but you don't want it raw. And we don't want to blanch it. We want to cook a little bit further than that. Let's get that salt in here. So we're going to let the sauce do its stuff. And I want to chop up some fresh herbs to go with it. So I've got some chives over here. Chop up some of this parsley. Chop up 
Shrimp goes back in. And all the juices that are sitting on that plate, get those back in too, that's flavor. And stir it up, turn the heat off, and then cover the shrimp with the zoodles so they'll heat back up again. Because remember, we took them off before they were done. So now they will definitely cook all the way through, but not be overcooked. And then we just need our little fresh herbs to go on top. Give that another stir. And dinner's gonna be ready. So I'm gonna sneak a little taste of the zoodle. It twirls just like pasta. Mmm. <laughs> Perfect on this. So a little crunch in there. It's so lemony, so buttery, and it's so delicious. Oh boy, that's good.